Hey guys, good morning. Um, welcome to a new video. Um, you can see my face, I just woke up in the morning. We came by uh, to a place called Safeway here. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but that's Safeway. To get some coffee, there's a Starbucks here. So the plan for today is, um, looks like Vanna has an hour worth of work or something. So we're gonna get that done and probably we're gonna head out today to um, a state park uh, where we can take close look and close pictures with the cactus so, seems, uh, uh, in my brother's backyard there is a lemon tree actually and it's so huge i just was there a few minutes ago trying to see how many uh, how the lemons are so many lemons so many of them and they're like huge and they're very tasty so i just plucked um and my hand was smelling all lemony it was so much juice i have not seen organic lemon tree um till now and this is the first time i'm seeing so you can see these are all lemons um these are kind of more ripe out but the ones which are here actually are still still sli slightly green but they're still yellow and man it smells so good the, the so when we smell the lemon there is lemony right the flowers of the lemon which i'm smelling they're sweet smelling flowers they're like jasmines that's how i can say that yeah they're like jasmines and they are so so arrogant um ar aromatic so this is like a baby lemon still uh not ripe i'm gonna pluck them and i before i leave arizona to take me take them with me to minnesota so i can just smell them <laughs> all day long they're so aromatic So my uh, mom visited. Um, so we are going for lunch. Um, it's a Thai restaurant called Thai Mama. Somewhere very, very close by the house. So we're gonna finish our lunch all together and then we're gonna head out to the Lost Dutchman. It's a place here. It's kind of a state park um, where there are wildflowers and cactuses and whatnot. So we're gonna go there today, do some exploring. So this is a Thai restaurant I was talking about. We have ordered our food and waiting for the food to come. Yes, yes, yes. Are you waiting the, for the food? We are waiting region. Are we waiting for the food or are you waiting for the countries? I'm waiting for the large countries. Are you waiting for the large countries? Again. So the first item has arrived. This is the pineapple fried rice without egg, just vegetables. That's Taylor's food because she doesn't eat meat or egg. And Ayush has ordered drunken rolls with chicken, right? Mm. How is it? Good. Good. Okay. Here we go. All right. Uh, fried rice. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. Chumu ordered some basil fried rice with egg, extra egg, and this is Thai fr basil fried rice with egg. Oh, that is pineapple fried rice, I'm sorry, that is pineapple fried rice as well. And this is basil fried rice with egg. No meat. We finished this. What is this? Tom soup or Tom? Yeah, what is it? Tom ka soup. This is super sour, sweet with coconut paste, but it has lemongrass and lime leaves with tofu and mushrooms. <coughs> it is tasty, but I can't eat much. So this fried is also very tasty. I mean, you can actually feel the nice smoke and the spicy and basil and everything. Um, yeah, I would really, I really like this food. Oh, thank so you. The lunch was this good. You can see the plates clean. So finally, our desert is here. It's uh, mango sticky rice. They have decorated it beautifully. So let's take it. Prices here are 
way expensive than what Minnesota had. I mean, Minnesota is, I think it's a dollar fifty more than what we pay in Minnesota, um, even in Costco, because we went. Um, this car needs a premium fuel, so it was like five dollars per gallon, almost four ninety four or something. State Park Lost Dutchman. That's the hill which signifies it. It's basically um, a gold, used to be a gold mine where pe people used to come and uh, mine gold. Um, now it is dormant and they made a state park. So I too don't know what to expect from it, but we're gonna go walk and see what, what we can find there. So let's go. It's not called dormant, It's that's what you call a dormant volcano. Shut down. It's a shutdown, it seems. It's not dormant. Okay. What's the point? So it's not dormant. That's what I used to say. It's, it's not it's, dormant. It's, it's, when you say dormant, you mean like a volcano or something. <laughs> it's the, it's, it's a gold down. mine, which is a closed down, which is a closed down gold mine. Okay, okay. fine. That's what it is. Okay. Are you going to edit the, the things out? Keep good clip though from behind the scenes. Oh, this one? I was just looking at this cactus and walking because this cactus is so huge, just like a 15 feet tall um, cactus tree. It, tree? I don't, I, it's cactus, it's not tree, right? Cactus is not a tree. It's yeah, I keep calling it a tree, but it's because of that big. C cactus belongs in the gourd family. Um, plant scholars correct me if I'm wrong, but it's in the gourd family, I guess. Gourd? It's a gourd family. Gourd family. If you guys know, do comment us and tell us if it is gourd family or not. I don't know if you guys can see, there are, there are on the ground, there are a few birds which are walking and chirping around. They have like a... Um, they have like a wing on top of their head. That's how they look. So finally we are close to a Subaru. Look at that. It's probably 30 feet tall. This is me compared to that cactus. Yeah, this goes all the way up. He's probably 5 feet. No, I'm 5'3". Five 5'3". Three. Five three. Yeah, it goes all the way up. There. So we are one fourth away from uh, the end where the trek ends man this is gorgeous it's like valley in between the whole load of mountains luckily today it's all green because usually if it is super hot it rained recently so the flowers and it's all there's all green around but if you come in a peak summer day like somewhere in mid may june it seems it's going to be dry dry and arid and you, can, you know what I mean. But yeah, it's beautiful out here. And one thing which I love to hear is the chirping of the birds. Man, it's so quiet. You can hear the wildlife. I missed it. I missed this. I remember when I was growing up as a small kid, there used to be jungles around. We used to live in a small village. I could hear birds and everything when in the morning, early in the morning. Not anymore. Um, and it's been probably a couple decades since I've heard such crystal clear, beautiful birds chirping. We are entering something called Tools Mine Ghost Town. Uh, this is a historic place. But 
there's a whole town that used to be gold mines and whatnot, so... And there's a small train here! There's a ride here. Um, there's a... This is like an abandoned gold mine. Like in South Dakota, how they have 1880 town? Town, exactly. So that is something like that. You're gonna spend some time here? Then. Probably head back home. But yeah, let's let's see what it what is there for it to be explored and whatnot here and so. Yeah, visited the towns and like like when I was mentioning something in the community town um while coming back from Road Rushmore in South Dakota. That was like that it was uh more of an epic. It was a reassembled town basically from somewhere else. So they bought all the parts and whatnot. Now this town I don't know if it's true it existed always existed here. Um I'm assuming yes, but um I was not told that is a reconstructed town, so I'm hoping that it is just like this. Um always. And it seems like there are people who do shows here. Ladies dressed in an old style. Okay, let's go. Reminds me of those old cowboy movies. I think one of the movies which I remember was Alien vs. Cowboy. Looks pretty similar to the alley. Thank you. So old little carts. Yeah, I think they used to. Oh, this is so. This is like they have a big bucket, something which goes into a well or something like that. Probably they are used to mine the the ore from the mines and probably collect gold and whatnot. So that's just my assumption. One thing I forgot to mention, the mountains we spy, uh, just hiked five minutes or like half an hour ago, one hour ago. Um, that mountains, they are called Superstition Mountains. Um, and I have l heard a lot of stories about this, or probably on YouTube and whatnot, because there I heard there were a lot of UFO sightings around those mountains. So I'm kind of excited to see those mountains, which I've seen on TV a lot. They pulled out 12,000 pounds of gold within five years. From here? Wow. 350 million to us. Wow. <laughs> how much they retrieved in five years. And that's when the town was really booming. Nice. Then they moved on in 1898. Now in the 20s, you're going to see pictures back there of the 20s. They went back in, they spent like a million, two million dollars. Sure. And then they only retrieved a million out of oh, the wow. okay. pump in the groundwater. Sure. And the mine in 
is flooded, the groundwater that runs through there, the aquifers, sure. the largest aquifer in Arizona, they cannot pump the groundwater anymore. Nice. Thank you. Good to know. So these are all dinosaur bones. These are this is dinosaur leg bone. It seems, uh, 160 million years old bone, um, and also there is so the, the horn is of Triceratops, but the bite mark is of the T Rex. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. This is the bite mark. That's what it was. Um, there is a megalodon tooth. Oh wow, that is huge teeth. around 300 million dollars of gold when in the peak during 1888 1808 and 1891 um that's the last dutchman jacob waltz basically that's how uh how long he lived but when they started building this mine and digging this mine that's how much gold like 350 million dollars worth of gold was dug out of this mine And I have to show this. If you get the thing that you're seeing here, which is probably four or five feet long, that's a camera. <laughs> and the camera I have is only 5.5 inches in my hand. You can imagine how things were in the olden days. It's a rare specimen, approximately 200 pounds. Of, Holy. I could see that greens, calcium, or whatever, oxidation happening on it. That's why it's looking like that, but it's 200 pounds. So they don't just have uh, gold mines, they also have copper mines here. So we are done with the, the museum. So if you guys are interested in this one, this is like a gold mining museum. It's nice. Um, there is another Subaru. This is real. This is real Subaru. This is big. This is horse ride. There's a church, there's a bell. It's a town bell. So we are done with the tour of our town. Man, we are tired after that trek and whatnot. There is a lot to see here. I think we did only 1% of it. There are lots of rides here. Um, you can see I was mentioning about the train. There's a train station. You can buy tickets. Get on the train. I don't know how far do they take, um, take you, but you can get on the train and do that kind of rides. They also have a zip line. Did you see that? The plan for us is to head home because we have a drive tomorrow. We are going to Grand Canyon. Um, so yeah. you're gonna head home, get some rest, get packed up. We leave early tomorrow morning because it's like a five hour drive from here. Um, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is tomorrow we're gonna stay overnight there and then next day morning, we will watch the sunrise and come back home. That's a plan. So we are back home, freshened up. I uh, like this video so far. Please give us a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching till the end. Um, see you in the next one.